Hello, today we are going to talk about sql volvulus and uh, sigmoid volvulus, just the basic principles. If you have an x-ray of the abdomen, which clearly shows sql volvulus or sigmoid volvulus, you should not get a CT scan. That's a fail. The x-ray has clearly showed you what you're looking for, so there is no need to get additional imaging as it won't change your management. For sequel valvulus, let's talk about the management. Number one, do not attempt colonoscopy. You won't be able to reach to it. You won't be able to do it. It doesn't work. So remember, uh, for sigmite valvulus, you can scope the patient, but for sequel valvulus, colonoscopy does not help. Now, what do you do in the operating room? There are two scenarios and that's the management. Patient is hemodynamically stable or fit for surgery and you're in the operating room and it showed known ischemic bowel. The answer would be, the operation of choice would be a right hemicolectomy. Patient hemodynamically stable or fit for surgery and you're in the operating room there is ischemic bowel, of course, you will cut whatever is dead uh, and that will be the answer. Now, hemodynamically stable, but patient is not a great operative candidate and you're in the operating room and the bowel does not look ischemic. What I'm trying to say is you cannot do the right hemicolectomy. You need to get out of there quickly. So in a patient who's hemodynamically stable, and bowel is all viable because if the bowel is viable, you know what to do. Just cut out all the necrotic bowel. Patient uh, is not, however, fit for long surgery. So the answer would be cecopexy, which is the suturing of the cecum to the posterior abdominal wall, or cecostomy. Just remember, you tell in the old boards that the recurrence rate is 15 to 30%. The recurrence rate with a right hemicolectomy is 0%. So that's the management for cecal uh, valvulus. Now for sigmoid valvulus, you should attempt with detorsion. Now again, for both of the scenarios, if patient is peritonitic, tender, uh, tachycardic, free air on the x-ray, you know you cannot do a colonoscopy anyways. But for sigmoid, you start with a, a colonoscopy. You detorse it and that will be the end of that part. Patient is doing well, or what do you do? Patient wants to go home after your detorsion. The answer is no, you still need to do a left colectomy with an iliorectal anastomosis. So remember the sigma valvulus in a stable patient that you detors, the management will be making sure that the patient gets a sigmoidectomy prior to discharge. Thank you.